Repelect Ben Adams says he wants to get to work on DACA. Could vote for a Republican speaker over Nancy Pelosi. Natural Progressive shares this, and she talks about what's going on with Nancy Pelosi. Where, uh, basically, if you don't support Nancy Pelosi for speaker, well, the only people they're having, uh, also up for the gig, are to the right of Nancy Pelosi, which is quite a feat. You know, I said, if you're in a situation where you're holding some type of election within your party and the most progressive quote-unquote option is nancy pelosi you have a right-wing party i mean you just you have a right-wing party i mean how can anyone dispute that having nancy pelosi as your most progressive option in a race is like being at a restaurant in your healthiest food option is a deep fried twinkie she's not progressive at all not even a little bit. So this Ben McAdams guy, he's pledged to oppose Nancy Pelosi's bid for another term as Speaker of the House, but with no alternative Democrat running yet to challenge Pelosi, does that mean he would, he would cross the aisle and support a Republican Speaker? I guess we'll have to see who's running. McAdams says he intends to vote for someone as Speaker rather than just vote present or abstaining as some Pelosi critics are expected to do. But McAdams declined, or was unable, to specify who would carry his support during the upcoming leadership votes. It's important to take a stand. And they couldn't get anyone to her left. McAdams, Salt Lake County's mayor, told, told Trip Talk he's eager to get to work, particularly on the subject of immigration. He spoke about a volunteer for his campaign who is one of the so-called dreamers, or individuals brought into the country illegally as children. The volunteer, along with thousands of others, has undergone stress and uncertainty caused by Donald Trump's revocation of uh, DACA. I agree with that part. There's a lot of pressure on those dreamers. We failed them as a country. That's very true. I'd love to see us move forward as quickly as possible. A DACA fix. Uh, now, here's where I strongly disagree with this guy. He said he'd also like to see consideration of a no-budget, no-pay act. That's PAYGO. A proposal that would halt compensation of federal legislators if they are unable to enact a natural budget. Uh, a national budget. So this guy's for Pago. I don't know why he's not for Pelosi in that that case, because she supports Pago too. But uh, you know, this is just another, for instance, of they're they're holding progressive hostage. Your most progressive option is going to be Nancy Pelosi, because otherwise you got to cross the aisle for a Republican. And if they wanted to find Democrats to the right of Pelosi, they could. Why? Because they're a center right party. And that's just amazing in any type of race where it's the majority speaker and the most progressive option you put on that table is Nancy Pelosi. What's your most nutritious option? We got this deep fried Twinkie. That's it. And if you don't want that, something even worse is waiting. How is that representative of the United States? It's not. It's not. Having Nancy Pelosi as the most progressive option option in any situation is not at all reflexive of the people that live in this country. It just isn't. Thanks for sharing, Natural Progressive. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can tweet me an article at Go through it together and make it our own. Get your-